Well, Dayton's effort to bring high-tech jobs to our city is still counting on taxpayers to foot part of that bill. Now, city commissioners also approved a loan for Tech Town's operating expenses today. Jordan Burgess is working for you with what it will take for that development to finally return the investment. As long as signs like this one remain largely empty, your tax dollars are what are helping support Tech Town here. So when will that change? That's what we're asking city leaders. They're the eye-catching buildings that city leaders are counting on to have a future as bright as their paint jobs. We are very close to that happening. But for the time being, Tech Town is losing more money than it brings in. I city commissioners approved a $550,000 loan to help run the campus designed to house high-tech companies. So when will Tech Town's promise pay off? Is there a time frame for when it begins to, to make revenue? Well, after we get a couple more leases signed uh, in Building 3, then we believe we're going to be at the break even and, and uh, spill into the revenue generating. Officials say right now, two of Tech Town's three buildings are more than 90% occupied. The third has only one tenant, Dayton Children's, but may soon have more. We're very close to some to a couple of their leases. City leaders also point to the new building. Barry staff will put up around Tech Town as proof that companies want to locate there. We hope that a lot more of that activity starts happening. Officials say Tech Town has already been successful from the standpoint of cleaning up the old Harrison radiator plant that previously occupied the site, but realize it's been slow to fill with jobs. Has it taken longer, I mean, to get to, to making revenue than you thought it would? Uh, you know, certainly, yes, because we had the recession years there where really it uh, really put off our leasing activity. Uh, so, uh, but we've always maintained that this is a 20 year development plan. They believe that patience will pay off. Even the loan is seen as a positive sign because it's expected to be paid back, whereas before the city granted the money to operate Tech Town. We're really comfortable that soon it will be sustainable and, and cover. So what is the magic number for profitability? Well, city leaders believe once this building is about 70% full, that's when they should start to see a return on that investment. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.